Helios requires innovation at every single level, hardware, software, and systems. It starts with our engineering teams, who designed our next generation Instinct MI455 accelerators to deliver the largest generational performance increase we've ever achieved. This is the next trillion dollar market opportunity, which is physical AI. Jensen's been talking about it for quite some time. That means autonomous vehicles, that means robotics, that means other devices that are controlled and actually moved using AI and chips that reason on their own. This is the game changer that we are looking for, which is driving the trillion dollar and additional market cap that people are gonna put in terms of valuations. And then of course the sovereign AI that's gonna be powered by Vera Rubin. Um, I think the game changer here was the fact that we didn't think it was in production yet, and they accelerated timelines. This is an announcement they normally give at their GTC event in March, not at CES. So this was a surprise to everybody who was there. The AI debate has officially moved on from whether this revolution is real to how massive the next phase will be. In just a matter of days, Jensen Huang, Lisa Su, and respected industry analyst Ray Wong laid out a vision that reframes the entire AI investment landscape. This is no longer about chatbots cloud training cycles, or short-term hype. This is about physical AI, AI that moves, reasons, consumes power, requires memory, networking, cooling, and real-world infrastructure. And that shift changes everything. Ray Wang's message was blunt. The market is underestimating what comes next. Investors who are still anchored to AI bubble narratives are missing the structural shift now underway. We are transitioning from AI training to AI inference and deployment at scale, where autonomous vehicles, robotics, sovereign AI, and industrial systems become the dominant drivers of demand. That transition doesn't shrink the opportunity, it multiplies it. Global data center and AI infrastructure commitments already run into the tens of billions annually, and this next phase expands that spend far beyond hyperscale clouds into factories, governments, and physical systems. Yes, NVIDIA and AMD remain at the core of this transformation, but here's the critical point most investors are missing. This trillion dollar phase cannot happen on compute alone. It requires memory, connectivity, and full stack infrastructure and some of the most important beneficiaries sit quietly beneath the surface, overlooked, misunderstood, and in some cases, deeply mispriced. In this video, we're breaking down three stocks that align perfectly with this next AI phase, and why ignoring them could be one of the most expensive mistakes investors make in the years ahead. Let's begin with the first and most foundational name on this list, Micron Technology, ticker MU. Because if AI is becoming physical, then memory is no longer optional. It's the limiting factor. Compute gets the headlines, but memory determines whether AI systems actually function at scale. Every inference request, every real-time decision, every autonomous action depends on ultra-fast, power-efficient memory. And that's exactly where Micron dominates. Micron is emerging as one of the clearest cash flow winners of the AI infrastructure boom. In fiscal Q1 2026, the company delivered $13.6 billion in revenue, up nearly 57% year over year, while operating income surged more than 168%. This wasn't a cyclical bounce or a one-quarter anomaly. It was driven by structural forces, tight supply, rising average selling prices, and a decisive shift toward premium AI-driven products like high bandwidth memory. DRAM pricing jumped sharply, NAND pricing strengthened, and Micron's cloud memory segment, the part of the business most tightly tied to AI data centers, roughly doubled year over year. What makes Micron especially compelling in Ray Wong's framework is visibility. Management has already locked in pricing and volumes for high bandwidth memory through fiscal 2026. That matters because HBM is mission critical for AI accelerators powering inference and real-time workloads. As AI transitions from training to deployment, bandwidth and energy efficiency become bottlenecks, and Micron's HBM3E and upcoming HBM4 products are engineered precisely for that phase. The company is now guiding for roughly $18.7 billion in next quarter revenue, implying massive sequential growth and gross margins approaching the high 60% range. There's also a strategic layer investors often overlook. Micron is scaling US-based manufacturing with long-term investments aimed at securing domestic memory supply. In an era of sovereign AI, trade friction, and supply chain security, that positioning adds resilience and strategic value beyond pure earnings growth. This isn't just a memory rebound, it's a structural repricing of what memory is worth in a physical AI world. Micron isn't chasing the AI revolution, it's quietly taxing it. Now once memory is solved, the next bottleneck emerges immediately. And that brings us to the second stock, Marvell Technology, ticker MRVL. If Micron represents the fuel of AI, Marvell represents 
represents the plumbing. As Ray Wong emphasized, AI systems don't fail because they lack compute. They fail because data can't move fast enough, cheaply enough, or efficiently enough. That makes connectivity the hidden battlefield of the next trillion dollar phase. Marvell is positioning itself precisely at that pressure point. AI clusters strain bandwidth, latency, power, and memory utilization long before they run out of FLOPs. As models scale and inference workloads explode, moving data efficiently between CPUs, GPUs, XPUs, and pooled memory becomes the defining constraint. Marvell's recent strategic moves make its intent crystal clear. The $540 million acquisition of Xcon Technologies dramatically expands Marvell's footprint in CXL switching, allowing it to cover nearly the entire CXL value chain. Combined with its earlier CXL controller acquisitions and the much larger Celestial AI deal focused on optical interconnects, Marvell is assembling a full-stack connectivity platform for next-generation AI data centers. Timing is everything. DRAM prices surge throughout 2025 and remain elevated into 2026, pushing hyperscalers to adopt memory pooling and sharing architectures. CXL enables exactly that, allowing CPUs and accelerators to dynamically share memory rather than over-provisioning expensive resources. Industry simulations suggest CXL-based memory pooling can reduce memory power consumption by 20% to 30%, which translates directly into cost savings at hyperscale. As Ray Wang outlined, efficiency, not raw compute, is what unlocks the next phase of AI adoption. Operationally, Marvell is executing. Adjusted revenue growth exceeded 40% year-over-year when accounting for divestitures, data center revenue remains the dominant driver, and operating margins expanded meaningfully thanks to tight cost control. Management has disclosed that its Structura CXL memory controller and networking products alone could generate roughly $2 billion in revenue over the next three years, a figure the market still appears to be underestimating. While investors debate GPUs versus custom accelerators, Marvell monetizes the data path that feeds them. If NVIDIA and AMD define the engines of AI, Marvell is building the high Ways. But even memory and connectivity aren't enough without something tangible to deploy them into. And that brings us to the third stock, Super Microcomputer, ticker SMCI. This is the most misunderstood name on the list, and arguably the most controversial. Yet in the context of Ray Wang's physical AI thesis, Supermicro sits exactly where theory becomes reality. Supermicro isn't speculating about demand. Management has cited approximately $13 billion in visibility tied to NVIDIA's GB300 platform, supporting guidance for over 40% revenue growth, with fiscal 2026 revenue expectations moving toward the mid $30 billion range. More importantly, the company ended the year with roughly 3,000 liquid-cooled AI racks, each selling for about $3 million. Liquid cooling isn't a luxury, it's becoming mandatory as AI systems push power density limits and inference workloads expand. That structural shift plays directly into Supermicro's strengths. The market skepticism centers on margins, and that concern isn't irrational. Rack assembly has historically been a low-margin business, but that's precisely why this setup is interesting. Supermicro is repositioning itself as a full-stack AI infrastructure provider, supplying not just racks, but integrated power systems, cooling, cabling, and system-level design. As AI deployments grow more complex, integration becomes a differentiator, and differentiation drives margin expansion. Management has made it clear that future racks will look very different from past generations, with a path toward double-digit gross margins over time. Financial flexibility reinforces the story. Supermicro recently secured a $2 billion revolving credit facility, giving it the balance sheet strength to scale production alongside demand. That's a significant vote of confidence from lenders at a time when global AI infrastructure spending continues to accelerate. Yes, this stock carries execution risk, and past reporting issues still weigh on sentiment. But valuation reflects that pessimism. Supermicro trades at a deep discount to the broader AI hardware space, despite being directly embedded in hyperscaler, enterprise, and sovereign AI build outs. If the next AI phase is about deployment, density, and physical infrastructure, then Supermicro isn't late. It's already in position. So when you step back and connect the dots, the message becomes clear. Micron supplies the memory that makes AI inference possible. Marvell builds the connectivity that allows AI systems to scale efficiently. Supermicro assembles the physical infrastructure that turns all of it into reality. These are not speculative side bets. They are structural enablers of the next trillion-dollar phase of AI. And that's the real takeaway. Jensen Huang, Lisa Su, and Ray Wong aren't selling hype. They're outlining an industrial transformation. 
The investors who win in this phase won't be the ones arguing whether AI is a bubble. They'll be the ones positioned in the layers that make physical AI unavoidable. If you're still focused only on headlines and ignoring the infrastructure beneath them, you may not just miss upside, you may miss the entire next chapter of the AI revolution.